They're both men's doubles. Um, we're starting with Home Impress and Ren Xian Yu and Tan Chiang. The home pair up against the number eight seeds, On Yu Sin and Tiu Yi Yi of Malaysia. The 2021 World Championship bronze medals. Well, this is from the third quarter of the draw, as you can see from the left uh, there. That indicates what section of the draw uh, we're in. And we can see in this section that the Danes have already come through. Rasmus Kier and uh, Frederick Sorgo are coming through in two very comfortable games against the French pair of Courbet and Labar. Also in this section are the former world champions from last year, Aranchar and Soyik. I can tell you they're on court right now and they're a, a game up against their Korean opponents. Chinese combination, relatively new as a pair in senior badminton. They did play together in junior level, only reformed their partnership at the beginning of last year, March last year. So this will be a third meeting between these two pairs and the Malaysians have won both previous, including in the first right. round of the Malaysian China. Masters earlier this year. That was a 500 so event. Who's going to serve? Liu. Liu. Okay, two to serve. So, the Malaysians win the toss of the coin and choose to serve. And given what Steen and I were discussing during the last match, I simply don't understand it. There was an obvious drift in this arena. I don't know why you wouldn't choose to... It's whether you like to start the good end and get a game up or whether you want to finish, assuming uh, that it goes to three games on the good end, is a personal preference. But whatever your preference, you should utilise the difference in ends. Well, this is 24-year-old Ren Xian Wu. He is going to turn 25 next month from Lu Zhou in southeast Sichuan province in southwest China. They're currently 19 on the world ranking. Uh, that's one place down from their highest ranking as a pair. Uh, but as you can see, Ren has been as high as 16, and that was with his former partner, Wu Xuanyi. Tan Chiang will turn uh, 25 later this month, a week on Saturday. So, what's that? Ten days' time, he will celebrate his birthday. Born in Nanjing, in Jiangsu province. And they've been in two finals this year. They won gold at the University Games in Chengdu and reached the final of the Swiss Super 300 as well. On Yu Sin. He is 28 years of age from the ancient city of Malacca. A tall athlete, 182, is uh, just under six foot, five foot 11 and a half. And they're a couple of places down from their career high of six. They were bronze medalists at the World Championships going back two years when the World Championships were staged in Welva in December. 30 years of age now is Tiu Yi Yi. Born in Mua, Ready to play. in Johor. 174 is 5 foot 8 and a half. Silver medalists, the Malaysians at this year's Asian Championships. And David Graf von Sweren of Austria, our umpire for this one. And find that out from India. He's the service judge.
Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Ong Isin and Teo Yi, Malaysia. And on my left, Yan Xiangyu and Tan Qiang, China. Teo Yi to serve to Tan Qiang. Love all. Play. Well, at the last edition of the China Open held here in Changzhou, the Malaysians, Ong Yu Sin and Tio Yi, nearest to us as we look down on the court, reached the quarter final stage where they lost out to Li Chunhui and Li Yu Chen. Good opening rally, my goodness me. So the Malaysians obviously like playing here in Changzhou. One, no. It's the third consecutive appearance at this particular event in this venue. Just wide. Seems to rush that serve on Lucin. Service error. Good flick serve from Tan Chiang. Well left. Serves over. Two. All. placement Three, of that two. interception at the front of the court from Tui Yi. That one played it perfectly. Seeing some fabulous rallies in these early stages. Well, this man, Tan Chiang, was a world championship silver medalist in Huelva in 2021 when his opponents won their bronze medal. Five, two didn't actually play against each other in the semi-final stage. They are both medalists. Tang Chiang playing with He Ji Ting. Only won World Championship silver. Oh dear me. Saying the strings have gone was an understatement. Yeah, several strings gone. Well, that seemed to bounce on the top of the net before bouncing over. Yeah, it certainly did. What an extraordinary shot. Over. 
uh, encroaching forward on you since. Maybe distracted Tan Chiang. is magnificent Five, from Tio. Huge gap across court. Oh. Yeah, well worked. Good smash from Tan Tiang at the back of the court. Five, nine. Yeah, good interception from Renchianu. Oh, oh. yeah, so it's over. Too flat. Ten, five. Oh, the back line, therefore. Service, over. Service fault was called, but Eleven. it hit the top of the net Six. and fell In short top. anyway. But it still goes down as a service fault from Wren. So it is the Malaysians with the advantage, a five-point advantage, in the mid-game interval of the open game. seen some absolutely terrific rallies in this men's doubles first round encounter good tumble serve A shot in the end from on you sin because when Xianu was ready and waiting short Very, very good work so from Ong Yu Sin. Rosman Razak shouting the instruction to the Malaysians. Oh! 
great defense. That's amazing. And Ren Xianu was in all sorts of trouble. Look how he has to crouch down for that one. Brilliant. No, oh, this is a great comeback by the Chinese pair. Beautiful. Saw the gap. Tan Chian. stages of this opening game I thought the Chinese pair were being outpaced not any longer Fast and furious. Oh, what a beautiful shot. Service over 14, 12. Well, I think the Chinese bear was saying it was a double hit. No, it wasn't. That was Tu Yi who hit that shot. Goodness me, one, two, three, before he finally broke down the defense of the Malaysians. Once again, just one point in it. Nice. 
that it was just tapped in a downward direction rather than going for power. We're all about a cute angle. Was that to make the kill from Renshianu? Wow! Fantastic! Well, I thought this, these rallies were fast to start with. It's getting faster and faster. And the Chinese pair are back level, having been five points adrift at one stage. And so was that. I don't think that TOE Yi expected 16. his backhand kill at the net to come back, but it did. Here it comes. Because he sort of stopped, didn't he? Two points away from the open game, the Malaysians. Four game point opportunities for the number eight seeds from Malaysia. <laughs> Oh. Opening game, 21-16, a very fast and furious opening game. Some of those rallies, absolutely terrific. But it is the Malaysians who come out on top, 21-16, in 20 minutes. Oh. 
这五分都是我自己丢的。啊，从你那个反击，呃，反击，从我先进去，你顶部先进去就可以了。你看接发球转头，两个接发球输了，主动打下网，就这些球，不是不是没有能力啊。而且你要注意啊，你们两个人都是快摆两边出来以后，两个人贴紧一点。你这边你这边压完也是不用冲，他一定是顶你的。你正手这边，你打，你刚转头上球，你你你往后撤了，他想要绕出去打，他本身补位就就不是他特点。好、啊，你自己压完，你自己这一块，你滑也好，打也好，下边要连得起来。前半场后面后面可以上去推啊，那些上去抢那些都很好。小步上去抢的时候，中半场你就往哪边打他，就要再走开，走开准备下边一块。你抽住了，他两边开始挡着你，上去压他没问题。往中路压，抬头继续抬头，啊。顺风啊，要信心，这气信心出来Twenty seconds. Caught one. Twenty seconds. We're going to have a slight delay here because there's a blood injury to On Yu Sin. Medic came on, but came on without any tape or plasters or anything to deal with the blood injury. Lawrence from America in attendance as well. Cold spray, it seems, is used for everything. Maybe it's sticky spray this time. I don't think that plastic is going to last terribly long. I can tell you, while we wait for the blood injury to be finalised, ah, oh, they've stopped the bleeding, that's yeah. all right. Okay. All right. The number one seed, Zalfian and Ardianto of Indonesia, they were beaten in the first round yesterday by the 2018 winners here in Chanjou, Kimastro Bananas Rasmussen. They're in great form. Second after game. They won the European Games, Second. won the Canadian Come Open, on. silver medal at the World Championships. Play. And that, Play. so Play. far, has been the biggest upset in the men's doubles discipline here in Changzhou. Oh. Yeah, found the gap well. One luck. Over. 
two, one. I think the Chinese pair who were trying to play at 100 miles an hour in the opening game, I think they're going to have to be a little bit cautious using the same tactics here because, of course, now they're hitting with the drift. So if anything's flat, it will liable to go wrong with the back line. So we've got to make sure, like that one, that it's really going in a downward direction. That's a good angle from Tan Chiang. the problem. So it's over. Four, two. Mm. I think he's telling his partner, don't let it drop so low. Oh. Oh, that's a good smash. So it's over. Ren Xianu. Three, four. <laughs> There's another problem. That's exactly what I was alluding to. Five, and once again, Ren Chianu just saying to his partner, oh, come on, we've got to take it earlier. If we take it earlier, then there's a chance of hitting it in a downward direction rather than an upward direction. And he's absolutely right. What a good return of serve. Service over. From TOEE. That is brilliant. Held the racket head to the last moment and then turned it to hit deep into the forehand corner. Beautiful. Oh! Yeah. Service over. Five. himself, does Tio, because he knows that's a missed opportunity. Both leaving it for the other. Somebody's got to make the call, yours or mine. So it's over. Six, seven. placement of Seven, that final shot four. from Tan Chiang. Oh, my goodness. 
brilliant. Unbelievable. What a rally. Nine, seven. Well, on you, Sin was down on the floor at one stage. That was the one that changed the rally. That drive defence from on you, Sin. But his partner was brilliant to move forward. That is just fabulous. Mentioned Set. it at least twice, maybe more. Chinese pair have got to be careful. Yeah, that's good judgment. It's definitely long. Oh, he lost his footing. But he played a brilliant drop shot. Tan Chiang. Okay. What on earth happened there? Was he going to jump? Decided against it? Doesn't really matter, he played a brilliant shot off it. It was the block across court Seven, from Ong Yu Sin eight, that changed the momentum of the rally. That one. Wonderful. In the short lift. And the relatively easy put away. Three point advantage here in the second game, having already won the first for the number eight seeds, Ong Yu Sin and Tu Yi Yu. Well, they had a five-point advantage at the mid-game interval of the opening game with the Malaysians. And then it got awfully tight. So don't write off the Chinese pair yet. Drives. Twelve, that one was nine. actually wide of the line. May have been long as well. Got to move their bases up, the Chinese pair. Athletic ability from Ong Yu Sin. Playing that down the headshot. Leapt from the base position. Big save. Yi 
Bertie. just apologises to his partner and then asks his coach, should he have left it? Was it going out? Because he played his partner into trouble. He in the decision at the back of the court. front court player to be able to intercept because if you hit him from the front of the court there's a much better chance of hitting it in a steeper downward direction <laughs> that was a lovely block from two Yi and did exactly the right thing by moving forward. No, you can't play completely error free. In this sport, you're always forced into errors. So one point in it. 13-14. Backhand and a lovely way to bring the Chinese pair back oh. level. Ren Xianu just watched this backhand kill. Stepping forward. What did I say a moment ago? Step forward. Got a better chance of taking it early. Close down those mid court areas. All contribute and contributed to winning that point. 14 all. Yeah, good commitment on the return of serve. 15, 14. Court block from Ren Xianu. Just wide. 16, and for the first time in this second game, Chinese pair go into the lead. Oh, I challenge that. Yes, there is a challenge. that angle here we go what a 
what does the instant review say? Clearly long. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remains. 17, 15, 6 of the last 7 points to the Chinese pair. That's long as well. 7 of the last 8 points to the Chinese pair. No question, long of the back line. 11-14 down. 18-15 up. That's a great return of serve. He did that earlier. 16, 18. And once again, it was an outright winner. Great disguise. Step forward well, did on you sin. Needs a good serve. Oh, what a super return from Wen Xianu. Two point advantage and two points away. Chinese pair from taking this second game. Oh, that's a missed opportunity. 18. Tang Chiang into the net. Sin sometimes rushes his serve. Oh. Oh. 19 all. Oh. Yeah, if I was the Chinese pair, I'd try and get to Yi away from the net because he's brilliant there. 19 all. Is it going to be a game point or a match point? Ready to play? Oh, the answer is it's going to be a game point. A game point for the Chinese combination. That's very, very positive play by the Malaysians. Good courage. Stepping forward. Drive, defence. Look how they're moving forward to the net, encroaching in. And the Chinese pair daren't lift because of the drift. So 20 all. And extra points required until there's a clear two-point winning margin. Second game point opportunity for Ren Xianu and Tan Chiang.
Yeah. Service over. That's a, been a problem the whole way through this second game, oh. the Chinese pair. a nervous looking shot from Tang Chiang. Should have stepped forward. He let the shuttle come to him. And trying to play the delicate block, which was a good shot to try. But into the net. So having saved two game point opportunities, now it's a match point opportunity for the Malaysians. Number eight seeds on you, Sin and Tiu Yi. Come through a thriller against Ren Xianu and Tan Chiang. Having to save two game points in that second game before winning it 23 21. Well, what a brilliant, brilliant rally to end the match. For so long, the Chinese in that final rally were on the attack. And finally, the change of pace 15, from Tiu Yi did the damage. And look at the delight for the Malaysians. No wonder they're happy with that. 21-16-23-21 in a match lasting 47 minutes. A really entertaining men's doubles. Yeah. The fist pump. And they're through to the second round. And they'll play against Danes, Rosmus Kiet and Friedrich Sogor. 21 16, 23, 21, the margin of the victory for Omnu Sin and Team EV. After that thrilling men's doubles, uh, we stick with men's doubles for our last.